You just you God blocked her. Yeah, I mean, but she's right on a lot of levels of that. Like yoga is great. It is good. Do it. it. Feels good. Yeah, makes you feel better. Relieves a lot of stress. Dude, when I when I would do yoga for big guys out in the living room, whew. never cry. No, I'd never cry. Yeah, you didn't get deep enough. Never cry. You didn't get deep enough. Well, yoga for big guys is pretty. It's pretty basic. A lot of farts, dude. <laughs> a lot of farts. It's mostly farts, dude. It's like bend over and let that fart out. I know you have one. <laughs> Guaranteed fart. I farted in exercise class yesterday. It stunk, dude. <laughs> I was just, you know, when you let out like little, like a bubble at a time. Yeah. You like let out one fart into eight bubbles, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was rationing bubbles. I would just be doing the battle ropes, and I'd be like, I just hear a switch with a person. I'd be over there doing high knees and be like. Let out like one bubble. I'm yeah. like, no way one bubble's going to smell my whole corner. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> bro, dude. <laughs> bro, I destroyed the plane on the way to San Francisco no. that morning because I was drinking all night. Oh, Dude, I woke up like three hours of sleep having just drank all night. Oh. Just farted the whole fucking six-hour flight. Oh, you, had a, you hit the plane. I was like, dude, because on a flight, you can sneak farts easy. Oh, dude, you no, let, I, I mean, let them go. They could look at me and tell where the stench was coming True. from, but... You're suspect number one, dude. I'm a fucking clear target for farts, <laughs> dude. I get more. I understand, like when Muslims or like Sikhs try to get on a plane and people are like oh, uh, keeping an eye on you. I get you the think same it's look. Of farts? I get the look for farts. They get it for terrorism. I feel like for I, <laughs> if somebody sees me walking down the aisle, they're like, I'm gonna keep an eye on that guy the whole flight. He's gonna be farting the whole time. Well, to avoid fart detection, yeah. Being if you're like a big dog, top. You're, but if you have like messy hair, then people are also if you if you mm-hmm. have a flight with bedhead. You're prime suspect of a fart. So if you if you hit in a suit, slick back your hair, you can literally audibly fart, and people are like, was it him? No way it was him. No way, He's dude. too professional. <laughs> guy's too professional. Dude, I was farting. <laughs> I, at one point, I farted and blamed mentally blamed someone else. I was like, it fucking stinks in here. It's probably that lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I was farting the entire flight. <laughs> I might start a LinkedIn profile that's just me giving like fashion tips on like how to fly. <laughs> Escape fart. <laughs> no. Fart guilt. It's just no, it's not even that. It's just me giving like fashion tips and just like in the meanwhile just farting on like, unacknowledged <laughs> farting in the background like, real loud. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, YouTube's just like you're doing serious lectures. Doing a tutorial, and, uh, dude, a it's whole farting the whole, a time. whole subcategory of unacknowledged farts might be the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> you unacknowledged fart a lot, dude. That's a crazy dude. Unacknowledged farts are so crazy to me, dude. There's a few of our friends that'll f- look you in the eyes and fart. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. <laughs> Well, sometimes I get caught up in the moment. I'm like, again, like I get in the bubble system where I'm like, I'm just let, I have a, dude. I just let out a bub. I spoke of a bub and it came out of me, dude. You let out a bubble and you're like, there's no way. So I'm going, dude, did you fucking fart? And then I immediately try to lie, but then I start laughing. In the I, middle of a conversation. I farted, and the fact that you smelled it makes me laugh it's so, so hard it's that so I'm just like, funny. oh, yes. Pretty much every comedy show. I think I farted at Skankfest, maybe? Nice. Did you catch any waves? This guy, someone came up to me and was like, oh, dude, what is that? And I was like, dude. Dude, that like, whole building was farts. That dude, whole I, building I let was... out a nice one when I was sitting there waiting. <laughs> oh, no, when we were about to go down. I farted in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. I definitely farted real hard in the kitchen. You are like, dude, did you fart? I was like, oh, I don't know what the that is. Damn. Yeah, I might. I was hammered. Yeah, yeah, you were drinking all day. I, like, don't remember much of that cast. Yeah, I, 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 was, a little bit, I was a little flimsy on it, too. Fucking order. Like, oh. This is like, oh, Dude, last <laughs> night, last night I spent the whole night holding in farts. What? That was rough. You haven't broken the barrier? Slightly. But, dude, you've you've been around me. I fucking let loose. Yeah, I fucking, that's a tough barrier to break Here's down. Here's the thing, dude. She's holding in just as many farts, eh, maybe a nah. little less. Yeah. They're happy when you break the barrier. Yeah, but then I don't want her. You don't really have stinky farts, though. My farts don't smell, but they are loud. Crack it off, dude. All right. That's like uh, farts, beards, it's all the same thing. It's just like a, a sign of your strength. You crack off a real loud fart. <laughs> that's, like that's like a lion's roar, dude. That's you at Pride Rock. True. Dude. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad used to fart. My dad would like rip a loud ones, dude. Yeah. My mom fucking loves it, dude. My dad, you get to a certain age where you grunt after farts. Yeah. <laughs> like, when do you get... <laughs> Well, my body apparently like stiffens to like I have like a telltale. I'll like be in bed and I'll yeah. like I'll go stiff and Brittany's like, "What are you doing? Just don't, don't." I'm like, Bruh. "You can tell." For sure, yeah, you flex your core. Yeah. yeah. 
I love the the fart face. You could see kids make like, dude. I knew my friend's fart face so well that in school, like, if if all he had to do, I'd be like, yo, like, if I looked at him and he'd be like, oh, <laughs> laugh so fucking hard. Like, don't, don't do it, don't fart, dude, don't fuck it, dude. The farting. idea of a fart in school oh my God. made me laugh. Dude, farting as loud as you can in school is the best thing in the oh world. Oh, my God. Oh, was, my God. It was always like the move in my school is you'd put your head down. <laughs> you put your head down on the desk and just fart as hard as you could. And the whole class went to chaos. Dude, dude that's got to be a tough heckle for a teacher. If you're like in the middle, you're like, damn, I'm killing this lesson. I'm, I got all my material down. Someone fucking farts. It's like, fuck, dude, the train is derailed. <laughs> Oh, dude, you gotta get that's like a half an hour getting people back on track, dude. My uh, my cousin, <laughs> my cousin cleared out the classroom in grade school. He farted all the time. We all had to get out of the classroom. <laughs> we brought him, we started bringing in stink bombs. <laughs> this one girl was like, "I'm gonna throw up." <laughs> dude, that's why he was so mad. Cause like, Sorry, we can't be like it was just a fart. And she was like, "That's not a fart." <laughs> just trying to find proof of this thing. <laughs> she like, "That's not a fart. It's something else." <laughs> we broke in music class. <laughs> the whole class had to get out. <laughs> it smelled for like three hours. I forgot. About it. <laughs> oh. Dude, there was like a oh, year of my life where all I did was drop stink bombs. <laughs> I fucking hated those kids. Dude, I fucking like had a real resentment for anyone who had stink bombs. I fucking hated them. Even as a kid, I was like, that's bullshit. <laughs> I used to get them down the beach. I'd buy them at the boardwalk. And for like, I'd be set for like three, <laughs> three <laughs> stack. Up. I'd go in like my favorite deli that I went to all the time and walk down the drink. I'd like, you either like toss them down an aisle <laughs> or you put them under your shoe and just step on it. You're. <laughs> oh, let's hit pause for Gerbies. a second. Let's hit pause. A couple of months later. <laughs> That's what's up. That's not bad. Yeah. My girlfriend laments the fact that she let me have sex with her. I think in three weeks it was. You guys fucked in three weeks? Yeah, but I always, what I tell her is that I'm like, yes, it was three weeks, which to me seemed. That's you know, long. Seemed fucking long. But I also, after our second date, so we had one date, didn't hang out for like three or four. <laughs> oh my god so That's a par fart dude That's a par <laughs> Dude that smells so bad dude We might have to pause dude, How tight is your butthole oh, How tight dude. is your butthole dude That's a morning blowout dude so that <laughs> That's a fucking taps in the morning <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry again Yo, please, it. please. My one cousin Mike used to fart Like all morning He's, He used to be real oh fat god, He had stink so bad dude oh that's, that's, that's midnight McDonald's chicken oh fingers <laughs> My cousin, oh, it stinks so, so fucking, fucking bad. bad dude. My cousin Ajax, when he farts, he throws his whole body into it and farts as hard as he can. <laughs> He's probably got hemorrhoids. My cousin Mike would fart like that in the morning, just long, oh loud farts, God, and dude. his brothers would be like, "That's the morning blowout." Dude. <laughs> Calling your morning farts the morning blowout makes me so happy. That's so fucking funny. I don't even like what? Because I was sleeping on his couch, and he he was down the hall asleep, and I woke up to just like. The morning. <laughs> literally 45 minutes straight of just like <laughs> like the loudest farts and I was like what is that and they're like what you, the morning blowout dude dude if you're a real man you have like an absolute haywire digestive system that was terrible I, I worked with a guy that fart was terrible I worked with a guy from Illinois who was like a machine operator and he was just like he. It was. I think I told you about this guy before like he gave me the advice of like never apologize yeah if you're give wrong just candy. wait two days give him a piece of candy and be like we're good right <laughs> like he was also telling me that he hasn't taken a solid shit in like three years yeah, I went through a streak dude I've gone like five days this guy's been yeah. years before he's taken a solid that's shit. terrible just diarrhea every day, dude. <laughs> that was one of my early jokes, dude. What was uh, it's like the the like number one cause of death in the Civil War was dysentery, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's like, what were they eating? Because <laughs> it's like, dude, I've been eating fucking wings and natural light. 
And you're still solid. I'm still surviving off this dysentery. Imagine fucking. Uh, I mean, a you great did, joke. That's why. That's a classic. <laughs> I don't want joke. you to know that's, that wasn't a great joke. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I imagine though, if it's like you didn't have fucking. Uh, you didn't have the any refrigerator. You didn't have refrigerators or anything. So like, I'll like chicken will be in the fridge for like six days, and I'm like, I think it smells weird. Back then, what like they thought was okay to eat, what was not, it was just like probably crazy, dude. Mm-hmm. Your yogurt part. Imagine that sitting out for three days and being like, ah, that's good. <laughs> Don't you get in on this. Now Matt's joining the morning blowout, dude. This, we might have to call, there might be a rain delay on this podcast. <laughs> we might have to bring out the tarp, dude. Cover up the equipment. <laughs> it's getting farted. <laughs> there are too many farts right now. <laughs> oh, my God. The rain delay. <laughs> the rain delay is great. You ever see people get trapped under the tarp? <laughs> people, people slip and the thing covers them. It's pretty wonderful. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. I stink so bad down here, dude. We're, lo- we're losing oxygen. Dude, I gotta get this. <laughs> yeah, twist around my head like a helicopter, dude. Oh, oh my god, man! <sighs> Holy shit! Woo! Fuck! <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, the I'm, listener has no idea what's going on down here. The listener, all the listener needs to do is just fucking go to the closest butthole and open it <laughs> off and smell it, dude. That's what it smells like down here. <laughs> Oh Oof. man, this is, this is just quality. Let's stuff. Take a break. Let's take yeah, a break. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! And we're back. <laughs> Matt is sobbing, crying, laughing about this far break, dude. <laughs> smells like a fucking urinal cake. It in smells here so bad. I sprayed Febreze. It's just Febreze and shit down here now. Oh, we went upstairs. <laughs> Shane's like, Jesus Christ, we're fucking losers, dude. <laughs> we're gonna take a fart break. It's eleven. It's eleven fifteen in the morning, and we're both like, "All right, we'll be right back from our podcast. We gotta take a quick fart break." <laughs> dude, what fucking idiots! Dude, I can't. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Be like, well, we were recording the podcast. We had to take a quick break. We both farted too hard. We cleared out the basement. <laughs> I mean, that has- cleared out the basement. <laughs> there has- that has to happen in broadcast. Like, the broadcasting uh, world has to have some weird fart code, dude. Like, it has to be a real thing where they're like... Yeah, they have a cough button. Oh, uh, let's... let's Yeah, like, oh, uh, let's let's queue up a track. Yeah. Yeah, let's play Don McLean, American Pie for seven minutes. That's probably where music came from, from the radio. For sure. It's like, oh, shit, dude. They're telling some fucking story. They're like, nah, and then the, 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 the missing case of the red dandelion. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. I mean, back then, the dinner was just steak and milk. Play some horns. <laughs> we got goddamn fox in the studio up here. Oh, my God. All right, we're back, oh. dude. I'm, I'm reco- that whole go having to fucking go upstairs and break for a fart made me laugh. It's, it's my fucking my throat hurts, dude. Oh yeah, having to take a to take a oh. fart break is. Oh Jesus dude, Christ! Do you know they landed a plane because someone took such a hard shit? I heard about that. <laughs> I mean, that's the fucking best thing ever. Dude. That guy must have been so happy with himself. <laughs> he, Was it a to. guy? I mean, I are we assume. assuming it's a guy? I assume. I mean, that's a good thing to look forward to later in life is, like, taking your daddy shits, dude. Taking your shit so hard that... Oh, dude. Tommy. Tommy takes man shits. Does he really? Yeah. He took a dump here when we were filming that thing. What's he eating on? He eats pretty healthy. I think he boozes a little. Ah, uh, yeah. So he takes... I mean, like, he eats like a man. True that. And then drinks a couple beers. Has a couple cold ones. A couple fucking cold fumers, and just, dude. And he dumped. I heard him like, oh, <laughs> he had like a man oh fucking God. like. Uh, he was like, <laughs> he's got his tank top flipped over his head, dude. Yeah. He's just sitting there. <laughs> reading, he's reading the Daily Enquirer, just like. <laughs> it's like the urinal fart. When you get older, you get that nice urinal fart. Yeah. I heard some guy hit it. I was <laughs> I was driving back from uh, the stress factory last week. Some fucking Indian he dude. St- he stood and delivered. Just me and this Indian dude at this Jersey rest stop, Jersey Turnpike rest stop. This Indian dude walks in, he's taking a piss. Just the classic urinal fart. It has a, the exact sound every <laughs> single time. It's the same sound. I know exactly. What and you're then talking the guy's about. like, <sighs> it's oh, crazy, dude. And I started laughing. <laughs> I was by myself, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people I'll, when people do that before. I've been like, like I've had, I've been there. Someone will do a urinal fart, and I'll be like, nice. And then they're just kind of like, just, yeah, they get mad. Come on, bro. What it's the like, fuck? Dude, you just farted. It's be, like, come on, shut you just up. Fucking, you're standing there with your dick out. And you farted. It's like, <laughs> let's fucking let's talk about let's talk about let's, this. Dude. Let's pretend that that's not funny. Next time someone does, I'm gonna turn around and just pee at them, dude. <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> One time, uh, me and my friend Bison, 
who's a big M. dog. Bicey, yeah. M. Bicey, I met M. Bicey. Big boy. Yeah. And I'm a big boy, so that's two big dogs. He and I went to the movies, and then, you know, it's just hilarious. <laughs> just two <laughs> big dogs taking a movie trip together. And then we were in the bathroom after, after the movie, and this guy was taking a piss in front of us, and he farted loud as fuck. And oh. he, the one urinal was out of service, so it was just one urinal, and me and Bison were just standing behind this guy. He farted so loud, and me and Bison are just dying in this guy's face. He oh turned around and was, like, so mad at us. Why? How the fuck would you get mad? I, can't, I couldn't imagine living a that. life where I'm in a bathroom, I fart, other we people laugh. Like you and I just laughed. Oh, and this my guy, God. <laughs> 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 was so embarrassed. See, that must just be a personality difference, because if I'm ever in a part, if I fart and anyone else laughs, I'm fucking I'm turn around. I'm like, hell like, yeah, dude. <laughs> that, that actually just reminded me of the...